He's uh, not only a real musician, he's a rock and roll musician. So he burst into Led Zeppelin. Well, it's okay. <laughs> Can't help it. I'll try and contain this. <laughs> but he's a Canadian, so he's too nice to do that to you. <laughs> <laughs> so these are songs that I wrote, and I'm, I'm going to start with a song that I wrote about 40 years ago, almost 40 years ago. Um, well, it started with windmills, air motors, and eclipses, and then it was engines of gas and electric. At the flick of a switch, spewing water through ditches and long aluminum veins, popping the cork on the sandstone champagne. It bubbled up cool and clean and wet, sparkling like diamonds on a young girl's neck. With a taste so sweet, we were quick to forget the sweat, the toil, and the pain. We're just part of the price of the sandstone champagne. So we nursed the cattle, the cotton and wheat, the corn and the sorghum, alfalfa and beets, the cities and the highways of steel and concrete, everything fed and sustained. By a pull on the bottle of sandstone champagne. And we're all getting drunk on sandstone champagne. Three bales to an acre And four if it rains Will it rain? Just keep drilling deeper No one will complain Until the cellar is empty of Sandstone champagne But every year it gets deeper And deeper to drill And the stock tank gets harder And harder to fill and the blue weeds get thicker and tougher to kill and nobody's watching for rain cause it's gone to our heads this sandstone champagne and we're all getting drunk on sandstone champagne three bales to an acre for if it rains, will it rain? Just keep drilling deeper. No one will complain till the cellar is empty of sandstone champagne. Now it's a damn foolish party, and there's a hangover due for our sons and our daughters when all the drinking is through. Hungry and thirsty, they'll curse me and you. There'll only be this to explain. We drank it like water, the sandstone champagne. And we're all getting drunk on sandstone champagne. Three bales to an acre, and four if it rains. Just keep drilling deeper, no one will complain till the cellar is empty of sandstone champagne. Thank you. When I, after I wrote the song and learned that it was really gravel, not sandstone, in the old law, uh, it's too damn late then because <laughs> gravel doesn't work its well very well, uh, work its way very well into a song. There's some sand. Well, it might. There is some sand, but uh, mostly gravel. Uh, so uh, I grew up out here and moved off and then moved back. 
one of the things that we talked about, uh, the Llano being the largest flat land mass in North America, and I read one time it was the largest flat land mass on Earth, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, I thought it would make a great uh, slogan for this place, but the Chamber of Commerce quit returning my phone calls after I, <laughs> after I suggested it. But I remember as a little kid, we lived on a, a little tiny cotton farm on the north side of Slayton. And um, which is kind of on the edge of the Yano, if you think about it, the Yellow House Canyon is just to the, just to the east. And you could see, and this is no joke, especially in the winter, you could see the weather coming two days off. So. But granddad saw a Goshen land, no trees, no rocks to clear. He bent his back and skinned his hands, and he got by year by year. Till the dust bowl broke his heart, but stubborn he remained, practiced in the farmer's art promises of rain storms they built up over him they clattered all around but the rain fell east of him when crops were in the ground there is no balm in Gilead but all So daddy did it differently, he modernized his yields with chemicals and subsidies and irrigated fields. Politics drove up the cost, drove prices down the drain, till mired in debt my daddy lost his promises of rain. Storms they built up over him, they clattered all around, but the rain fell east of him when crops were in the ground. There is no balm in Gilead, but on the stake it plains, God anointed Daddy's head with promises of rain.
This land was made for buffalo, for cactus and blue stem. It was not made for planted roads or banks or governments. But I'm a farmer by my lot. Next year runs in my veins. Born to plow the prairie sod with promises of rain. Storms they build up over me. They clatter all around. But the rain falls east of me when crops are in the ground. There is no balm in Gilead, but on this day it rains. God anoints this farmer's head with promises of rain. God anoints the farmer's head with promises of rain. Thank you. Let's see, how are we doing for time? Good. Um, the, uh, these songs are not really autobiographical so much as um, they are autobiographical compilations. They're, they're things that happen to a lot of people, some of them to me, but uh, that I put together in one song, you know, so you can make one thing out of it. Carol, you know what that's all about. Yeah, the uh, artist. <laughs> the artist. Yeah, we, uh, we consider it our, our opportunity. And so this is one of those songs. Got a dollar shirt sure in? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, we got it. Whoops. We tune because we care and we put our capos on properly because we care too. Well, the clouds, they look like mountains Builded in the distance And the afternoon was heavy with the smell of something mean Lord, the stillness was deceiving Cause it could change in an instant And the sun was painting pictures with the colors from a dream. Across the way, a poppin' Johnny droned a summertime siesta. And the traffic on the highway and the horse flies harmonized. But the clouds were changing faces. Now it was dragons they suggested. In the southwest there was lightning and blackness in the skies And it was cotton high in late July Dollars for December Crop was made and we had made it well Oh, there ain't no way in telling why but I'll tell you I remember The afternoon that we got hail to hell Oh, the afternoon that we got hail to hell Well, we hadn't had no nematodes, no signs of bold evil. Mostly.
Billy Booms and you said bones The stand was strong and tall But the wind kicked up raw and cold Like the breath of something evil And the clouds above began to roll And the rain began to fall We stood under the tractor shed When the hail began to splatter Helplessness of watching took the lock out of our blood. In minutes of destruction, the season's work was shattered. December came and went without a single bale of cotton. Come spring, there was an auction that paid a little on the debt. Well, the worst things are the things in life that most quickly should be forgotten. But I can't forget the only time that my daddy Daddy died next season riding someone else's tractor. I moved to the city, my mama moved to town. The hailstorm didn't kill him, but it surely was a factor. Old farmers never will admit when the farming And there's angels up in heaven Where Jesus sits upon his throne To make the sinners whole But the hailstone ain't the hand of God It's just the cursing of the devil Call it in the farmer's note On the mortgage of his soul And it was cotton High in late July, dollars for December. Like one of the things that uh, was pretty interesting was that uh, when you would, uh, when as we would say in the country, when a storm, when a cloud come up, not when it came up, but when it come up, uh, and you were headed for the storm cellar, uh, you know, the older folks would stay up at the top and watch the thing coming at you. And, um, it was a big mark of distinction if you were old enough to get to stand up near the top but the curious thing was they didn't talk so much about the tornado as they did about did those clouds look like they had a little green in them that means they had a little hail mm. the tornado was only going to do a little damage a lot of damage to somebody but the hail was going to do damage to everybody 
So this is a, uh, we all know about the odd weather out here. In fact, uh, even to say odd is an odd thing because the weather is always odd. Uh, um, in the winter of 82, 83, I think it was, uh, in the fall, we had a, uh, it had been dry all year and we, we had a, we started getting some moisture, I think in maybe October, a little snow and in November, a bigger snow and then a, a pretty good snow later in the month and not much in December. And then New Year's Eve, we had a really big snow, you know, five or six inches. And uh, two weeks later, uh, we went to bed on a Thursday uh, evening, so about the middle of January with the usual West Texas uh, weather uh, prediction, 20% chance of, fill in the dotted line, you know. Uh, and the 20% chance was one to two inches of snow. So we went to bed and got up the next morning and we had 18 inches. You couldn't open the garage door, you couldn't open the front door if it was on the north side of the house. The whole neighborhood stayed home. It was about the time I'd quit my day job so I could be a folk singer. Holidays are over, bills are coming due. Work's been hard to come by, I'm telling you. That's only partly true. More than money, I need something to do. Well, it's snowing again in love on the Ano Westacado. The snow blows in like trouble, trouble, but nowhere else to go. Drifted on the fences, it's piled up on the cars. I can't get where you're going from where you are. But it don't make no difference, cause I ain't trying very hard. Giving up don't require you go too far. It's snowing again and lovely on the Ano Westacado. The snow blows in like trouble, trouble with nowhere else to go. Oh, with no. Snowed all January. I guess it snowed all year. My eyes feel like there's cotton in my ears. If we make it through February, spring will be near. But the snow so deep, the spring can't find us here. When well, it's snowing again in love on the Ano Westacado, the snow blows in like trouble, trouble. There's nowhere else to go.
minutes. Okay, well, I'm going to do a couple of songs. We're going to do a couple of songs. Uh, this is a song that was uh, that I wrote based on uh, talking to some cowpunch friends of mine. <coughs> I grew up in town. I didn't grow up punching cows, and both myself and the cows were grateful for that. <laughs> um, but I come from good cowpunch stock. My distant uncle, Charlie Goodnight, was a was a right fair cowman. But there's always this talk about the uh, cowboys' days are over, and I, I just don't think that's true. There may be fewer of them, and but uh, you heard uh, Chris talking today about how important that, uh, and uh, Miss Gallego is talking about how important it is to have animals on the land, and so anytime you're going to do that, and especially horseback, then you've got cow punchers, but but it's still it's different. Oops. Just as smart as I remember, I would be really good. Yeah. <laughs> All day in the pickup, running errands to town. When I should have been a horseback, prowling some ground. What once was the orders for a half? dozen hands is now the to-do list for a single camp man. The bunkhouse is empty like a hole in the night. I'll reheat some chili, drink a couple Coors Light. Then I'll roll a big fatty and I'll watch the moon rise over the lost home some high. Come here, come here, come here, be I, I lost in the lost home some high. The owner's a believer in the quick profit code, plowing up the grass pastures for another dust bowl with his big center pivots the rangeland across you can't navigate it on the back of a horse the bunkhouse is empty like a hole in the night I'll reheat some chili, drink a cup of Coors Light. Then I'll roll the big fatty, and I'll watch the moon rise over the lost bones of my high. Come here, come here, come here, be A coyote calls, cottonwood rustles, a shooting star falls. As I pull on the ember at my fingertips, I wonder, will I burn out like this? The bunkhouse is empty. Like a hole in the night, I'll reheat some chili, drink a couple Coors Light, and I'll roll a big fatty, and I'll watch the moon rise.
thank you. We'll do one more song, and this is a song that is a, a really a, a, a new song. I just wrote it uh, right at the beginning of the year, and I wrote it uh, for my late friend uh, Max Evans, who grew up at Ropes, and Andrews, uh, novelist, a painter, script writer, wrote The Hilo Country, uh, The Rounders, wonderful guy, barroom, fist fighting, uh, tough hombre. But his spiritual side was something else. He, uh, he every now and then, he would, in the telling of the story, he'd stop and say, that's only for the great mysteries to know. And, uh, and I always thought how, how interesting it was that the people that you least think about having a spiritual side may have the most of that. And so I, I thought about, about Max and his great mystery. And then while I was doing that thinking, I was introduced by another good pal of mine, Gary Nabhan, who, thank goodness, is still on this side of the grass. Uh, and Gary introduced me to a fellow from South uh, Eastern Arizona, and I wish uh, Luke was still here, but a guy named uh, Dennis Maroney, who's a uh, rancher, vertical producer of cattle, Criollo cattle, for meat, not for roping steers like a lot of pe uh, people grow those things for, but he said because they're just big goats, they can get along with anything and they take no effort. and. Uh, and they know what to do. He said, they know what to do. Uh, so I thought about that, knowing what to do. High rollers and blue northers, prairie fires and hail and drought, unconscious of our borders, our certainties, our doubts. Without hymnals, without psalters, without prayers or psalmistry, they carry out the orders of the greatest mystery. Coyote and Criollo, Chaparral and Rattlesnake, Wild Horses, Wild Buffalo, Blue Brahma, Purple Sage, Shinopots and Creosote, Nary one needs you or me, for each one holds the answer to the greatest mystery. For the rangeland knows its business, what to do and how it's done. The wisdom of the wilderness is a kingdom that has come. Without pity or forgiveness for what was or what will be bearing constant witness to the greatest mystery the rangeland moves in circles without angles Without lines, without questions, without searching, without worrying what we'll find. Requiring no rehearsals to sing its harmony to the choruses and verses of the greatest mystery. land knows its business, what to do and how it's done. Wisdom of the wilderness is a kingdom that is come. Without pity or forgiveness for 
what was or what will be. Bearing constant witness to the greatest mystery. It offers constant witness to the greatest mystery.